Hi, Tapper. Today we continue on with our AccuPoint information series. Thank you for letting me know that you are enjoying this. Last week, we covered the side of the hand point. Eh? And now we are starting from the top down, which brings us to the top of the head point. This point is along the Do Meridian, also called Governing Vessel. It begins on the underside of the pelvis, travels up along the middle of the back, and ends inside of the mouth. The name of the point we use is Do 20, and it's located exactly how we say it, by tracing up from the centermost point of the ears to the top of the head. In tapping, some people access this point by using their fingertips only, or you can flatten your entire hand, your entire palm across this area. Remember, a gentle tap will do. You don't have to smack your head. The benefits of this point are extensive as well, which is fantastic. And to share those, I will turn to the subject matter expert, Deborah Bleeker. I'm using her book with permission. It is this one, the Acupuncture Points Handbook. If you want the book yourself, the link is in the description. Here is a picture of the point. The functions and common usage are benefits the head and brain, calms the mind, improves concentration, improves memory, insomnia, opens the sinuses to treat sinus blockage, prolapse of the uterus or rectum, raises energy and descends it as needed. It regulates circulation. Restoring collapsed yang revives consciousness. This point can be used to treat prolapse of the rectum as well as uterine prolapse. It improves memory by increasing blood flow to the brain. It opens the sinuses to treat nasal obstructions that can cause sinus headaches. Collapsed yang is when the body is so weak that the person faints or passes out. Now you have some extra reasons to use this point on the top of your head, which you can locate quite easily from the tips of your ears, or if you wanna be extra sure, just cover it with your whole hand. I hope you're loving this one as well. I'll see you soon for more.